recognizing sp3d hybrid orbitals. In this question it says what is the hybridization of sf4 shown below. So we have s and then the f's that surround it and a lone pair. So we have one lone pair, four bonds, four bonds making a seesaw shape and we know what family that's in a trigonal uh, bipyramidal family shape. So this is a seesaw shape. We have five orbitals here. We have five orbitals going on here based on the one lone pair and four bonds. Four plus five, four plus one gives us five orbitals. And so that means we have an S orbital going on, but we also have SP3 because we have three P's added up and a D orbital because remember D is the next orbital out, the next orbital that we have. And so when we combine them we have SP3 D orbitals combining together in the seesaw shape because it has five orbitals. And notice that we're talking about the hybridization of S to accommodate FF, all these four F's and the lone pair. Remember, hybridization, when it's not mentioned, is usually talking about the central atom, which is S. So we know for this one that D is the answer because it has SP3D hybridization based on the five orbitals that it has.